brand new creek. We've never been in this one. But I do know that that way, there's an old mill next to the creek. So I'm hoping there's something of interest in here. There's a lot of old waste on the ground here from a building. But anyway, we gotta get down there first and see. I oh mean, that was actually quite the challenge. Going down the side of that thing. All of those blocks and bricks and everything moved when I stepped on them. So let me get into a spot where we can walk decently away from this road. Everybody drives by and sees us. And then we'll get serious. I just realized why it was so difficult. I forgot my Kelly grippers. They are my balancing sticks, they're my walking cane, they're my picking up stuff. They're used for everything. Look at that hawk that just jumped down on our face. So there's nothing in here that's going to be glass that would have ever survived. is brutal but I'm hoping that we find something really interesting owned down by this where the foundry was or the mill I think it's a little shallow or two I didn't have a good plan there's there were so many people around just kind of hanging out sitting on porches and I wanted a a clean get in and a clean get out I cannot believe I forgot my Kelly grippers I'm not sure how someone functions in life without one of those that puts me all the way back in the old fashioned way of picking up stuff in my hands got this cat and his name is Boots and he's so rude he'll just walk up and sit there and, and sit down and stare at you to get up and follow him to either feed him he insists on eating every day you gotta follow him to either feed him or let him out he won't go a, to a door that's close to go outside. It will make you walk. This is deep. To another door in the house, which goes to the same place in the mind of a cat, which is outside. I don't know why I put up with it. I like him, but I guarantee you this. If he could talk, we probably would not be friends because he is a rude little animal. I was going to wear my waders, but it's hot. Really hot. I should have worn, but I did not. And now I'm limited to that. And even a little less than that because... There's a hole about six inches from the top of that. I don't see anything yet. It's crystal clear. That is for sure. But there's just nothing on the bottom. I still haven't reached it to the spot where the mill was. And hopefully when we get there, we'll find something.
I can't believe I have to use my hands. I had to climb out because it got so deep. Now the challenge is going to be getting back in. We'll get there in a minute. Made it. No gloves. No grabbers. But that's okay. Let's go and look around. Down there. I hear waterfalls. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And it may just be that little pile right there. Okay, what is that? That is a drive shaft. Some kind of drive shaft. No man purse, no grippers, no gloves. There's not much going out of here with us today. I totally forgot. I spent so much time trying to figure out how to get in here that I, I blew it. I think down here around the corner where there's a big washout on that wall, I believe is where the mill was. This is where the uh, part of the trash stops. But you can see where they've torn down buildings and they just shove them over the side. They're everywhere. There's an old fence up there. I don't know where we are actually. We should see snakes. And since I don't know this waterway, I will be slow to snatch them up okay it gets deep over there and it gets deep over there but let's go to this anyway and look over the side see what's in here i really don't want to climb through all that now we could go to the wall look at that how high the washout is we can make it that way huh Yeah, I think so too. There could be something of interest that will wash out of here. And then there could be just one pebble holding it all up. Good. There's at least two pebbles. Okay, no, there's not. There's not two pebbles. Okay, that looks a little stronger. That thing is covered in ants and I just grabbed it. So we'll put our hand right here. Hopefully there's nothing alive on the other side. That feels a little more locked in. Now all I want to do is go, right? Let's go. One, two, six. That keeps falling. Now it's locked in. Don't let me forget, that's our step to get back out. What's neat about this is I have a new wound every time i hit a new creek i thought i saw a big hunk of slag in here but i did not there's a lot of bricks just dangling over me old melon let's go quit looking around okay sorry oh there's another giant pool I don't see anything in there to harvest. I guess that's good. Okay, there's a thong. That's a beauty. It's gonna stay there. I wanna look at this bank where everything falls out. But it looks like it's been washing out for a hundred years, so chance of anything fresh being buried that deep or slim to know there is an Ozark brick 
Oh, there's some tracks over there, but there's tracks over here too. So I'm in between the tracks. Let's look at this corner. I don't think that fence held up too good. He rested. There's our hawk. You can rest assured there's snakes in that. So we gotta get on that side and make our way around. Just just hang on, the mill's around this corner. Maybe there'll be a something massive, like a truck. Or an old Oops, there's a little trip in action. Bulldozer in the water. Sometimes I just got no choice but to rub this stuff all over my head, shoulders, knees, and toes to get around as much as I don't want to. Here's a bicycle tire. I believe it's a bicycle tire. There's a big brick that says something. There's a couple of bones for the last person that tried this. See, I wonder what this thing says. Only one way to find out, right? DFBC 60-78. That is really deep. I see some broken glass in, in it. I see a pedal off the bicycle. We can't get anywhere. It's so deep. We got to get over there. Let me think through this for a minute. Okay, we can take this bank up and try to cross right over there. You can see pretty good from up here. See, that wall is concrete. Block. Um, it's about six kinds of struggling under here. <laughs> okay, I found it. We'll go right here. I don't see anything in there to go back for. But we gotta go back. There's our wall. That thing's tall, isn't it? And that whole thing is concrete. Oh, oh there's a building. Maybe we're getting there. Hold the phone in the water. I don't like any of this stuff touching me. So I know what you ask yourself. Why do you go out there? Well, I don't know. Because I think there might be something interesting you want to see. Ah, we made it. All it takes is one bottle poking out of the bank. Or one. Something of interest. Piece of a milk bottle. Credit card. This is where it all stops. A CD. A phone cord. Again, it's too deep. See, if I had my waders, we just truck it on along down in there. Hey, you know what that means? Turn around. That means I got to climb through all that, and we had an unsuccessful City Creek treasure hunt. This is the south end of a town, a city, actually. And I thought for sure if we could get around that. Parts of it are metal, parts of it are block. I know you can't see it too good. So let's head back this way. And if we see something of interest, we'll uh, look at it. I 
are those words or those decorations? Those are decorations. Okay, the next interesting thing. There's nothing of interest. I climbed out. So I'm going to walk the tracks back to the wagon. Hopefully I'll come out in the same spot. If not, I'll let you know. And if something else interesting pops up, I'll show it to you. If not, thanks for watching my videos. Okay, well as you can see, woods and railroad tracks is all that's around here. But look. How is it even possible? That's the only treasure we found. Okay, now I'm done. Successful hunt. Maybe. Let's do this bottle. Oh, that's an old Miller High Life bottle. I'll leave it right there. There's a lot of mosquitoes here lying on that leftover little bit of water to uh, have their offspring in. I've either got ants all over my back or mosquitoes. I'm hoping I'm both. I'm an equal opportunity buffet. Thanks for watching my videos.